Valentine's Day is two weeks away, so let's set the record straight right now about some of the rules of relationships. Nicole Beeland is executive editor at Cosmopolitan Magazine. Congratulations, that's awesome, Nicole. <laughs> and Matt Titus is author of Why Hasn't He Proposed? Good morning to our favorite dueling couple. Good morning, Good morning. how are you? You know, you guys bicker so much, sometimes I wonder if you're secretly married. It's my TV, it's my TV wife. It's your TV wife. It's my TV wife. Totally, that's Absolutely. exactly it. So let's get the debate going. The first rule of love that you always hear is that you should never go to bed angry at your significant other. Do you agree with that, Matt? I absolutely agree. Listen, I don't mean to be morbid here, but what happens if the last words that you said to someone you love more than anything in the world were words of conflict or a fight, and then they never woke up? That is so the, the only thing, reason I is think. because I might die. Don't go to bed angry. No, I might no, die. it's just it, it. Also, you 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 need to resolve things. You know, when you wake up, you could still wake up in the same type of bad way and bad. No, Matt, way. I completely just, disagree because. You have all those emotions the night before. You're all angry and you're frustrated. And it's almost like it, they propel you to keep fighting. But if you just go to sleep, you wake up in the morning with fresh perspective, all that emo awful emotion will have faded More away. More importantly, and how could you, you go to sleep being can... angry at somebody? I could never go to sleep. If you're I love tired. someone, I would be able to sleep. You're you're I, no, I would like to resolve it oh, and make so sure my sensitive. wife I, I was think, happy. I think it's something that the couple has to agree on. If you're the type of person who would rather sleep on it and your spouse is the type of person who would rather settle it right now, that could be a problem. I, I agree think you with need Maggie. To be. Agree. Agree. The person who says Absolutely. sleep on it is right. I yeah. think the person that wants to resolve it is more right, Nicole. Okay, guess what? Guess who I'm siding with on this one? It's not going to surprise you. Nicole. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting, you know what? I know. No, I just, I just, I, I, we, we share, I don't know. Anyway, the next one, love at first sight exists. What do you think? Absolutely, and I am a proponent of this because when I saw my wife, not my TV wife, I do care very much, uh, my real wife, wife, I, wife. I knew that um, I was going to marry her and be with her forever. You have to be open to love at first sight. It's Not does it exist, but you have to be able to embrace it and be prepared for it because it can happen. Nicole? Doesn't exist. There's attraction at first sight. There's chemistry at first sight. There's uh, lust, of course, at first sight. But love cannot be developed in five seconds. It's that's Timing not how it Timing is everything. Works. You can bump into the person that and you're in love with. And be attracted and really get Nicole? along well and have great rapport, but be in love. Love develops immediately between two Isn't people. Isn't it true, Nicole, and, and I'm slightly agreeing with you on this, Matt, believe it or not. Wow. Isn't it true that the, the things that make the foundation for love, you know immediately, if the chemistry's there, if the attraction is there, if the mutual interests are there? I just wouldn't that call fair? that love. It okay. depends on your definition of okay. love. To me, that's great. That sounds wonderful, really promising. Is it love? Love, to me, is being willing to jump in front of a train to save that person's life. I'm not going to do that for that's someone I just met extreme. 15 minutes ago. That's a little extreme. That's <laughs> you know, both someone, a little more. I mean, right? if yes. somebody's going to die before the morning, that's not extreme. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to the next one. Does love conquer all? Nicole. No. Again, I... I Jeez. What? Why are we here? Because... It, look, you're more of a romantic I, I don't than she is. I really think just so. saying that love con conquers all is very dangerous. It can hurt people's relationships because then you think, oh, we're hitting a rocky area. You know, think times are tough. It must be because we don't love each other enough. It's not love. You've got to work at it. You've got to try. You lose your job, Nicole. Who's the first one that you come home to talk about to make you feel better? Your significant other. Well, he's they, the only one at my house. They, oh. <laughs> they empower you. They lo Love is the basis. Relationships are the only thing you have in life. You can lose your money. You can lose everything. But if you have your relationships, they will power you to get up, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, and go on and do better. I agree with that, I have to say. Fine, love outlasts everything. More important than everything, but conquers all. Maybe not the best way to put it. Okay, is the way to a man's heart through his stomach? Is the way to your heart through your stomach? No, the way to my heart is through my heart. If you cook me a great, uh, a great bowl of pasta... You're a little bit of a sap. I, <laughs> Jesus. Such a sad Anyways, a lot of abuse going on here, but that's okay. <laughs> no, Listen, I, I mean, if you cook me a bowl of pasta, I, I'm not going to love you as much as you knowing how to handle me, you knowing how I am how emotionally. To you? Yes, I need to be handled all the time. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a theme to this program today. It all goes back to the slanket. But, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I just really think that uh, uh, a way through to a man's heart is through his heart, uh, showing him that you care, being there for him, knowing how to handle him, and knowing how to challenge him will keep a man, not I, cooking for him. I love that. In the last 30 seconds, your response? I agree. If, if, if the stomach was really the way to get through, man, my guy would be in love with the pizza delivery guy. I mean, it just does not... <laughs> I don't know. I think that was something just to make women cook for their guys. I think no that's like very, applies. very 30s, 40s, and 50s. All right, Great. let's leave it there. And you know what? I'm more with you today because I'm. You I see, think, I guess I'm a miracles romantic. can happen. There you go. <laughs> Thank Matt you, Titus, Maggie. Appreciate Nicole it. Nicole Whelan, always fun.